Tutorial. This time I'm dressed up as Harley Quinn, or more specifically, Harley Quinn as a sugar skull. <laughs> I thought about doing the original Harley Quinn makeup, but it's been done quite a lot before and I wanted to put my own more theatrical spin on it, so I hope this is okay that I did this. So yeah, it's just a super fun, colourful makeup, really. It's not really got any hard and fast rules, as long as you've got the mask. You can just pretty much have fun with the design and go crazy. I mean, a Harley Quinn, like, inspired makeup has been requested, like, tons in the past. So I'll flash the first few names of the people in the past that requested that I do a Harley Quinn makeup. I hope this is okay that I did this version. <laughs> and the very, very, very first person that requested it was right here. So thank you everyone that requested it, but thank you, you're the first person. So yeah, if you'd like to learn how to recreate this makeup, stay tuned. So the first thing I'm going to do is block out both my eyebrows, so I'll pop a link on the screen right here to teach you guys how to block your eyebrows out, as always just to make this video a little bit shorter. Yeah, so I'm going to block out my eyebrows and we'll go from there. So then I can take a Snazaru Clown White and I'm going to apply that just down the middle of my face and then blend that out of a Kabuki brush. There's no need to go on my ears or my neck because the costume covers that. Then I can settle that with some Ben Nye setting powder in Super White. So I'm just going to press that all over my face, press it quite heavily on my eyebrows, let it set for a few minutes just to really sink into all the layers and then brush off the excess. So because I'm making this makeup up as I go along, I'm going to start I think on the mouth because that's usually my favourite area to start with when I do kind of skulls because it's just fun to get the intricate lines going. Plus I'll then know exactly how much space I've got to work with around it. So I'm going to take a Makeup for a Flash palette and I'm going to use the black from that palette which these are like really nice thick creams that are like a really rich in colour so this should be a nice black. And I'm going to just map out the shape that I want for the smile. <laughs> Okay, so that's the rough shape that I want, as long as it's pretty much symmetrical and I've got the distance that I want. I know where I'm going now. So then I can just strike down to where each tooth is going to be. So there we are. I've just done it roughly for now because now I'm going to neaten it up with some webs. So I'm going to join on each point into like a web so it'll look like a W on top. So it's going to go at like peaks on top and I'm going to do exactly the same on the bottom but upside down. Just make sure the tips of each piece taper off. So there we are, I'm going to go back in that later on and neaten it out, but for now I think I'm just going to move on so I don't spend too much time in one area. Then I'm just going to take a random eyeliner pencil, as long as it's a cold pencil when it's easy to remove, if you make a mistake it should be fine. I'm just using a Collection 2000 eyeliner pencil, and I'm just going to trace on the shape that I want for the mask, the eye area, because there needs to be a few things in this makeup, like obviously the black lips and the mask to obviously suggest Harley, otherwise it's just a sugar skull. So I'm just going to trace on the shape really roughly, so it's going to be small and then get larger. Yeah, so super, super rough, but you get the idea. Then I'm going to take a MAC Red Chroma Cake watercolour, so basic red, and I'm going to use that just to paint underneath my eyes and my eyelid. Then I'm going to take a black watercolour by MAC, this is another one of their Chroma Cakes, and I'm going to use that to paint the inside of the mask, except I'm going to leave some shapes out, I think, where I'm going to paint some red in, plus I'm going to leave like, a little tiny white edge around the red eyes. Actually, I was going to do this step after I've done the black, but it might be easier to work with the red and the black. So I'm going to take the MAC Chroma Cake Red again, and I'm just going to paint in the middle area that I've drawn this shape here. So I'm just going to chop and change and make some different shapes around here and then colour that in with the red as well. Okay, so I've just got a blending in red there and I've got a little red diamond in the centre. Then I'm going to take some gems, which I got from a local craft shop. I'm just going to use the red gems from that and I'm going to stick them all the way around this little mask that I've made here. And I'm going to stick them down with some duo glue, which is just an eyelash adhesive. Because I have to incorporate gems into this somewhere. I can't do a sugar skull makeup without gems, that'd be silly. Actually, ignore that, this is what happens when I make stuff up as I go along. I'm just going to end up leaving it on the edges of my mask, just because I think it looks a bit more effective. I think adding too many gems might take away from the actual look. 
Then I'm going to take the black from my Makeup Forever palette and I'm just going to paint my usual skull nose, which is basically like a little fox. Well, you'll see when I do it, but it's got a little face, little nose, and two pointy ears. Okay, so see what I mean? Little fox, little pointy ears, little nose. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> then I'm going to take a Grimace Black Cream and I'm just going to do a little bit of bone work, I think, on the side of the face. So I'm just going to draw around my mouth that I've got here, the smile, and then I can do some temples and a bit of the jawbone. So I'm just going to sketch this on roughly and then blend it out afterwards. Then I'm just going to add some more of the black cream and just sweep the colour outwards. Sorry, I kind of just went on autopilot there. I, I was blending it out and then I carried on going without stopping to explain, sorry. Um, <laughs> Basically, what I've done is I've took the black and I've just coloured in the hollow, which is going to be here, and then swept the colour downwards just so it looks like the mouth is peering out a little bit. Then I'm going to do some temple designs, but I'm going to do them quite far in because the costume's going to cover a lot of this. So I'm just going to do two lines further in than I usually would, two half moon shapes, and then blend that out so the darkest point is towards the centre. Then I'm just going to do a couple lines with the black cream. I'm still working with the Grimace black cream, by the way. And just go around here. And then I can blend that colour upwards. It just makes it look like the eyebrows are being raised. Okay, I've made it quite dark because I'm going to be doing some patterns over the top of it and I just don't want to lose the expression underneath. And then taking a tiny, tiny bit of that cream, I'm just going to go around the edge of the bone structure that I've drawn here, and a little bit around the mask and nose as well, just staggering the line and then sweeping the colour towards the centre. Then, taking the cream again, I'm going to do my usual spiderweb pattern on the forehead, except it's going to be quite low down because, again, most of this is going to be hidden by the cowl of the costume. Then I'm just going to join them together and make some web. And after each bit of web, I'm just going to sweep that colour upwards so it blends out. And I'm just going to put one of the gems just at the end, because why not? I'm not going to worry about this area here, because that's going to be covered. Then I'm just going to take my Collection 2000 Extreme Felt Eyeliner Pen, and I'm just going to do some really little doodles just in the middle areas and around here, and yeah, just some pretty patterns really that are symmetrical. Well, as symmetrical as I can get it. <laughs> Then taking the black Makeup Forever cream, I'm going to do a peak in the middle of my chin and I'm going to take it around my jawline, just so I've got like a silhouette for the hood to go around. Then I'm just going to take the black cream one more time and I'm going to go across the top of my eyelid and underneath my eyes and just do a wing eyeliner. Then just adding to that, I'm going to add a quick smoky eye with a sugar pill black, so bulletproof eyeshadow. So I'm just going to apply that to the edge of my eyeliner and just smoky it out. Okay, so the wing still retains most of its shape, it's just blended outwards. And then I'm going to apply some false eyelashes, which is optional, I think, this kind of look. But I need as much help as I can get when it comes to making my eyes look more feminine, so yeah. So I'm going to use some Eldora lashes. I don't know if you can see, they're B178 lashes. They're beautiful, but they're not massive. And I'm just going to stick them to my eyelashes with some duo glue. Then all that's left me to do is pop in some contact lenses, my costume, and I think I'm done.
and there we go, that's the look complete. So I finished look off by popping in two black sclera contact lenses, which aren't vital, I just think it adds a little bit of innocence to the eyes, and I know it's always a nice impact whenever I pop in some sclera lenses, so yeah. And you can get the lenses from scleraxl.com, I popped the link on the screen here and in the description bar below. Then I popped on this fabulous costume, which is from buycostumes.com, I'll pop that link on the screen and in the description bar below as well. I'm so happy with this costume. It took me so long to find a Harley Quinn costume that will actually fit me, because they're all like extra extra small, so I'm so happy I found this one. <laughs> so yeah, that's my makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you like my spin on this look. I didn't really want to do like regular Harley Quinn. I wanted to do something that's not been done before that I'm aware of, so I thought it might be fun to do a Harley Quinn sugar skull. Why not? So yeah, that's my makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, please make sure you know the usual. Rate, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, because that so helps me out. And yeah, so until next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.